Hi, God. Thanks for the shine. Hello, people. I'm one of the people, okay? So, this is going to be a quick bit. It's going to be a fun bit. You know, it's morning time. We got our coffee. It says, keep calm, cold on, okay? Cold, code on, code on, all right? You know, so we're always hanging out in the Word. So, um, we just want to hang out, right? <laughs> we just want to hang out. We want to show you some things, man. So, check this out right here. You see this? Right. Boom. All right. Check that out. <laughs> <laughs> that's that card man you know so so we made a card for our scary simple service right you know but it just says scary simple on it right so we made this way back in the day right because we were preparing you know so now we're starting to bring out the ammo that we were building up from back in the day you know and then and then we like this one because it says one minister one associate one agent one question call right and then you have a phone number right and it says one body service okay you know so so the reason why or how I came up with the name one body services because every time I kept looking in the Bible and reading the words in the Bible, the words kept tracking back to one, right? You know, so, you know, one means whole, one means health, right? You know, one means simple, right? And then I was just like, yeah, <laughs> I just like to keep it simple because, you know, Jesus Christ, my Lord, my Savior, kept it scary simple, right? You know, so then I was like, okay, what better, what better name to have for for the um organization that that we we created that god created for us you know to call right you know so now that's why my bits are called one body service right because i'm always looking for one man or one woman and i want to service that body why because i was in the healthcare industry for a very long time and i was servicing bodies for a very long time and then now i can do it but i can do it at the spiritual level you know and then by default i can do it at the law level now right you know because god is the law period the end okay you know so check this out let's move on to our next bit right here so you're gonna see this on the screen uh right here because we were hanging out in the internet right you know and then uh, we were looking at what the people were talking about and um so we've created lists in our twitter account you know that lists all of our all of our political servants right you know so we come from san diego so we got all of our san diego political servants and then we got all of our california political servants right the ones that count you know and then we have our federal uh, public servants okay you know so we have those in a, in a format to where we can always look and see what they're chattering about in the public and then we can always you know ask them questions because they're always throwing out stuff right you know so we sent a question to public servant um, well, we're not even going to save their names, right? You know, because we want to keep this to go on and on and on to show that this is like a way to do something, right? You know, it's like if you want to communicate with your public servant, use the internet, right? You know, and then you can always follow up, you know, so you want to use the internet. It's like multi, it's like multimedia, right? You know, so you want to use the internet to put out a public communication to your public servant, right? Done, okay? And then what you want to do is that you also want to send a note notice right you want to send a notice to your public servant right that says you know it's an introduction or whatever right you know hey what's up i'm one of the people man here i'm here to let you know what's up okay and then you want to go ahead and give them a phone call right and then say hey can we make contact right because i really want to talk to you you know i really want to get to know you right because you know you're doing the people's business and i want to see how you're doing the people's business why because i'm an overseer right you know i oversee the public service Servants and I make sure that the public servants are doing what they need to do, man. You know, it's almost like like how, you know, if you look at it from the um, secular uh, form, right, secular people create lobby groups, right? You know, and then these lobby groups go then and then they talk to our public servants and then they say hey public servant or hey you know political leader because they think that they're their leaders right you know they say hey can you do this for us if can you make us some legislation that makes it easier for us to do something right so that's what the lobbyist groups always do right you know so all corporate entities do that all business entities do that all associations do that right you know so if you're a professional association example like the american bar association they have a lobbyist group Another example, the American Medical Association, they have a lobbyist group. Another example, the Nurses Association, they have a lobbyist group. Another example is... Um what do they call the teachers association they have a lobbyist group right you know so now if you look at the places that have a lot of problems 
they all have lobbyist groups, right? <laughs> you know, so the people, we can do the same thing, but different and better, right? You know, because we come at them as the people, as the boss, right? And then we say, hey, what's up, man? You know, we're here to talk to you. I don't know why I dropped that bass in my voice, right? You know, but it's, that's just how I am, right? Because you can be a man or a woman, okay? You know, but you're going and you're speaking and you're instructing with your public servants. You're instructing them, but you're also, is my nose on it? Yeah, oh, look at that. That was crazy. Hold on, let me get some. Hold on one second. Man, that was crazy. It's cold out here, right? You know, so um, where was I? Yeah, so you're always instructing your public servants and you're letting them know what's up, right? So then this is what we were doing on the internet, letting our public servants know what's up, okay? All right, so so what we were doing is what we were asking... Um, a uh, city councilor, right? And then we were asking the mayor and then we were asking the governor, right? So we went to the city councilor, to the mayor and to the governor, right? And then we said, point of clarity, are the people bound to obey our servants' commercial ordinances, right? You know, so you have to remember, right? Is that here prop time, you know, we the people are the creators and the masters of all of our public servants, okay? Just like God is the creator and the master of all the people, okay? That's the that's the authority, that's the hierarchy, right? You know, so when you ask them these questions, you just want to see you're, you're positioning yourself, man. You know, so that's why I'm always using chess pieces, right? Because, you know, you move the piece one at a time, one at a time, but then as you move it in the collective, right, you know, you get some powerful stuff to happen, right? But each piece has a specific motion that it can go right but then you just know that there's someone who's the master who's moving those pieces man so god moves me right jesus moves me holy ghost moves me right you know and then by default now i have to go and then i have to read and then i have to read the word and then i have to read the words that the people have created for our public servants now called the constitutions and then i have to see what are the words what are the instructions saying the instruction guidelines that we gave our public servants and then boom and then now we read that to our public public servants just to make sure that they're doing their job, right? You know, so like the same way that you would have, um, uh, departments, right? Like, so you would have like the health code department, it would come through to the hospital and then it would make sure that the hospital was following what it needed to be doing to keep up with its codes and its ordinances, right? Because the hospital, you know, had to follow all of those codes and ordinances in order for them to get that little piece of paper that says that they can do what they can do, right? You know, so that's why when you see all these businesses and then they got that like A plus certification in their door, those are what our public servants have created in order for our businesses to be able to run because their public servants are always checking on them, right? You know, so now we the people, we do the same thing, but we do it with love, okay? You know, so now we just do it and we just show them the word, man. So check this out. So I asked them that point of clarity, are the people bound to obey our servants' commercial ordinances? How are we doing on time? We're cool on time, right? And then here's what we hit, right? You know, so we just crop this out, right? We say fact, man. You know, we're not saying this, but this is where, where the, um, the authority uh, of law comes from, right? You know, it says fact that he is who they're talking about, God. He is omnipotent or a supreme being, but rather than in our relationship to God, okay? So we're talking about where authority comes from, okay? That relationship lies in the fact that God is our creator and provider. Seriously, okay? God created the people. Done. Okay, here we go. Sir William Blackstone expressed this relationship in his discussion on the nature of laws as follows okay you know so we always have to read the words to the people so then that way they can see that we're not making this up man we're getting this from people that are wiser than us right you know because we get it from the bible and then we get it from source okay source material okay this is where the law comes from all right here we go man law comes from god right man considered as a creature must necessarily be subject to the laws of his creator. Thank you, God. Okay. For he is entirely dependent being for he is a he is entirely a dependent being. Yes, I am right. A being independent of any other has no rule 
law, okay, to pursue. Remember that, man. If you don't have any rules or any law, you're just wild, okay? But such as he prescribes to himself. But a state of dependence will inevitably oblige the inferior to take the will of him on whom he depends as the rule of his conduct. That's a fact, man. You know, that's where you get the, that's where you get the uh, duty and an obligation to the instruct, okay? And consequently, as man depends absolutely upon his his maker for everything. Thank you, God. Okay. It is necessary that he should in all points conform to his maker's will. Okay. So God's will is simple. You know, God's will is so simple. He told us to love, right? You know, and, and that's why that's all we do. All we do is love, right? You know, so God said, love God with all your heart, mind, soul, um, heart, mind, soul, strength done. Okay. You know, and then love neighbor, like you love yourself. And if you love yourself, like you love God, you're going to get that circuit, man. You know, so now that's, that's why we know what we have to do now. Right. So now we know when we speak to every man and every woman, an image bearer, right. You are in an image bearer of God. I don't care what you believe, right. If you are a man and if you're a woman and if you're breathing, you, your creator is God, man, period, the end, man, you can believe whatever system you want to believe. But when I see you and I see that blow, right, because God showed me the truth, the way and the life and it's Jesus Christ. I know who you are. Right. You know, and I'm going to treat you in accordance to which means I got to love you, man, no matter what. Right. You know, so when I see the public servants, you know, acting out of bounds and I'm just like, oh, no, you know, the little children, they don't have knowledge right now because the key of knowledge was hidden from them. Now, God has given us the knowledge back. Right. And now we're going line by line, precept by precept, which means maxim by maxim. And we're showing all of our public servants and we're showing all the people the law, man. You know, that's it, man. And we do it with love all day long, man. You know, so we know who our creator is. You know, we know what's up, right? So when we see our public servants chatter and then, you know, just making up all these 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 rules, you know, under codes and statutes, we're just like... We got to come correct them because they're making they're making it hard for the people to do what they need to do, man. So they're interfering with the people's pursuit of happiness. That's not happening anymore. Right. You know, so now you got the people and then the people are awake and the people have assembled. And then now we're coming and we're instructing and we're doing it with love, man. You know, so don't fear. You know, I mean, you can hide from us and like you can turn off your your emails. Right. Because you're like, oh, no, we're getting spammed by too many people. You know. Or you can turn off your fax machine because you're like, oh, no, we're getting spammed by by too many people over fax. Right. But just know, man, you know where there's one where there's two or more. There am I, man. You know, there am I. Right. So so when two two or more of the people are coming at you and we're talking with you, man, that's God. <laughs> that's God, man. Just know that God is in the presence, man, because that's what's up. OK. All right. So. <clears throat> We're done, right? You know, we're going to put this together. We're going to upload it, right? You know, we just had to show, you know, like where where the authority comes from to do what we can do. It comes from God, right? You know, because God is the creator, right? You know, God created the people, period, the end, right? And in the people, we are bound to obey God's will, right? We are bound, right? You know, and that's a fact, man. And if you don't do it, you're breaking the law. <laughs> and we will check you now, man. All right, so we're going to put this together. Together. We're going to upload it and we're going to go have some fun. Also, thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you for giving us another day to shine, man. We love you. I'll talk to you guys in the future. Nobody's having more fun than us. Bye.